Next time you're out exploring, take a look at something a little bit peculiar. Ouch! I said look but Ooh, you... don't touch. You got me a good one. But you can grab an underwater camera and take a look around. Not only do you have to look out for where you put your hands, you also have to watch where you put your feet as well. Now these guys are extremely defensive and territorial, but not really that good to eat. We will be meeting some mud crabs and sand crabs later on, so just keep watching. Now these sand crabs make much better eating. They're a lot more common in these waters, but they're also a lot harder to catch. And if you do manage to catch one by hand, you can be sure it's going to turn around and give you a nasty nip. If you walk to the mud crabbing spots, you've got to basically go through a jungle. There's spiders, ants, snakes. Oh look, people have been here before. Just rubbish. And this is where you get some of the nastiest crabs in the world. Two kilograms and more. Jeez, they make some good eating, but. Only these guys are much harder to catch and they live in an extremely murky environment. Throwing the crab pot in the water along with the HDMI cable and we got a picture but can't really see much at the moment because the sun is really bright. The problem is that it's just too muddy to see anything down there but something stole our bait so we're gonna pull it up. Well okay let's see what we got here. A nip off one of these will easily take your finger off. We'll tip it over. A large male can grow up to two kilograms in weight. And yeah, that's a female. You are not oh. allowed to eat the females, apparently. It apparently, you can pick them up by the back swimmer legs, but I just haven't been game enough to try that. After you have put them in the fridge for a little while, you can put them straight in the pot with a little bit of water on the bottom and steam them for about 15 minutes. Okay, after the crabs are ready. Alright, you got two lovely pieces full of meat and two claws. These Queensland mud crabs are reputed to be actually better tasting than lobster and go extremely well with a glass of beer. Oh yum, look at that. Now the sand crabs are much more common they're almost as good at eating and we're going to have a look on different ways of how to catch these guys. Yeah, give us that. Do you want a bite? Mm. Is it nice? Mm. Okay. Now, for this experiment, we're going to be going down to the bottom of the sea, so we're going to need a really good GoPro with a nice waterproof housing, a good LED light system, we'll silicon that up and make that waterproof. That's also got some lithium ion energizer batteries in there, so it'll go for 100 or 200 hours or so. Now, this is a crab pot, so I've just rigged up a little bait attachment there, and We've got plenty of rope, so that'll sit on the bottom of the ocean. We'll just turn the light on. That'll illuminate the subject, and uh, we'll see what's down there. Also, we're going to need a boat, 
probably do up an old boat and fix the trailer up because we're going to be needing to go out there and do a few experiments and we'll see what we find and hopefully we will catch a sand crab or two okay that's where all the mud crabs are see the little entrances right there okay we're in 6.3 meters of water and we're recording 1080p two-thirds of a battery no sign of life yet We are actually chasing sand crabs on this trip, but uh, we won't be getting any sand crabs if there's any sharks hanging around or if there's no bait in the pot. You probably can't see it very well, but there's actually another crab trying to muscle in on its territory. This is the crab's warning, I will attack you if you come any closer stance. Watch how quick they can be when they're provoked. You gonna try to pull it up? Yeah. Let's we'll see what he does. Yeah, we'll see what he does. Is he detected anything yet? No, he's still there. Eh? Alright, we're gonna start calling up hard. We know we're only gonna catch one crab, so we're gonna pull this up as fast as we can. You got him? Well, I'm just going to show it on camera. Now make sure it's a uh, boy one first. Uh, we have to have a look at the underneath. I, I don't really want to stick my hand in there. I've already been stuck by one of these before. I'll bring it in the boat so you don't drop it over. Yeah. Oh, just look at the underneath. Oh, look, you can't eat him too. We'll just check his size, but he doesn't look too bad. Hello. I'm not that angry. Oh, that was pretty cool. Uh, just put my, hey, my first crab. With your invention. Cool, yeah. it's good because we're not getting any fish here. Yeah. It's good to run in the new motor too. Yeah. Well, shall we let this poor little boy to go? You'll... Well, we've got to measure him up if you want to keep him, I don't care. No, we'll let him go because we only got one. We want more than one. We'll let him out there and breed. <laughs> All right, buddy, see you later. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 he's sensing the water. Go, go. Here we go. He was quick down there. Yeah, he was. Although this time we're gonna be trying to get a lot more crabs, we actually find something far more interesting and possibly dangerous too.
That's a fucking cod. Is well, it? I don't swear. Yeah, there's a fish trying to get my bait. Something's interfered with the camera. Hey, look. I don't know if you can see that. If you pull it, if you pull it up now, I mean, you won't catch the cod. Let's see if we can get it up. You record that and see if we can get this up safely. Nah, he's pissed off. There's no way you can catch predatory eels in a crab pot, so we're simply going to rebait and try again. Apparently you can catch more than one crab at a time, but we actually lost one, so we're just going to have to settle for one today. Oh, he's, a, he's, he's asleep. Is he? I said I'm cold water, put him, him down, did it? Yeah, he's asleep. All right, we'll put him in the freezer and we'll chuck him in the pot for cooking. All right, how's Mr. Crab going? Uh, yeah, he's sleeping. Now, boiling water. We want about 15 minutes. All right, five minutes into the cook. Yeah, nice red color. That's what we're looking for. It's a little bit of salt. Oh, it's fogging up my glasses. All right, put the lid back on. Hmm. Gee, I like crab. All right, all you do. Running water. Slip that little tab. Break it open. Remove the lungs. Remove a bit of that rubbish. Break it into two. And there you go. Two beautiful pieces of crab full of meat. And it is really delicious. There you go. And don't forget the claw, which he lost. Ready to eat? Oh, look at that. That's all meat in there. The easy way to crack these open is just simply grab the claw like that, hit it with the back of a spoon, then break it open like that. And that is absolutely beautiful. Okay, that there is absolutely yum, all right? You can't get any better than that. You wanna try a bit? 